Bienvenidos al Medical Spanish Podcast. Soy la doctora Molly Martin. Through this podcast, we provide interactive audio lessons for learning practical Spanish for healthcare and elsewhere. The level of this lesson is advanced beginner and timestamps are provided in your show notes. You're about to hear a lesson from our history and exam course at docmolly.com. This course covers all the necessary Spanish for performing a complete history and exam. The course level is beginner to intermediate and all the lessons are interactive. I hope you enjoy today's lesson covering the patient's chief complaint in Spanish. En esta lección, vamos a tratar la principal preocupación del paciente, the chief complaint. First, let's practice asking the patient why they presented. The Spanish word for doctor's office or clinic is el consultorio. El consultorio. Now try asking, what brings you to the clinic today? ¿Qué le trae al consultorio hoy? Now try, what is the problem? ¿Cuál es el problema? Or, what's wrong? ¿Qué le pasa? The word molestia is used to describe a discomfort or physical concern. How would you ask, what concerns do you have today? ¿Qué molestia tiene hoy? Another more casual way to ask a patient what is wrong is to ask, what do you have to tell me? ¿Qué me cuenta? ¿Qué me cuenta? How would you ask, How are you feeling? ¿Cómo se siente? How about, how have you been feeling? ¿Cómo se ha sentido? Do you feel well? ¿Se siente bien? Do you feel sick? ¿Se siente mal? In each of these questions, we use the pronominal verb sentirse as we are asking for an adjective or adverb which describes how the patient feels. When the verb sentir is followed by a noun such as dolor, it is non-pronominal. Try asking, do you feel pain in your leg? ¿Siente dolor en la pierna? Now simply ask, how are you? ¿Cómo está? How have you been? ¿Cómo ha estado? Now try, how's it going? ¿Cómo le va? How's it been going? ¿Cómo le ha ido? How about, how can I help you? ¿Cómo le puedo ayudar? Now for some specific questions which elicit an easy answer, such as a yes or no or simple gesture. Let's say the patient looks like they're in pain. We could simply ask, Are you in pain? ¿Tiene dolor? Point to where you have pain. Señale donde tiene dolor. Point to where you have the problem. Señale donde tiene el problema. Point to where the trouble is.
señale donde tiene la molestia. Now, using the verb doler, ask, where does it hurt? Donde le duele? Point to where it hurts. Señale donde le duele. Enhorabuena! You've just completed this lesson covering a chief complaint in our History and Exam course. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to characterize the problem by asking about location, severity, timing, and aggravating and alleviating factors. If you want to keep going and hear the next lesson in this course, click the link in the show notes to sign up for a free one-week trial to our all-access subscription at docmolly.com. Our History and Exam course covers the basics and is a great place to begin your journey learning medical Spanish. However, if you're an advanced speaker, we also have you covered. Most of our lessons are intermediate to advanced and are based on a clinical dialogue I translate and record with one of my amazing native Spanish-speaking teachers from Latin America. In our member lessons, we review the vocabulary and delve into the grammar as we practice interpreting the clinical dialogue from English to Spanish. Whether you are just beginning to learn medical Spanish or already use it daily, I am confident you will find our audio lessons helpful and enjoyable. They are interactive, fun, and perfect for learning while walking, cleaning the house, or on the bus. So click that link for a free trial and check out all we offer today. Support the podcast and become a member at docmolly.com. Hasta pronto! This is a production of docmolly.com where we learn practical Spanish for healthcare and elsewhere.